Hey everyone! In today's video, we're comparing two of Dell's newest 14-inch laptops, the Dell 14 Plus and the Dell Pro 14. Which one is the better buy in 2025? Stick around till the end before you make your decision. By then, you'll know exactly which laptop comes out on top. I've included links in the description for the latest prices and deals. And please like the video. It really helps me out. The Dell 14 Plus and Dell Pro 14 Premium share a minimalist, modern aesthetic, but differ notably in build quality and materials. The 14 Plus, derived from the Inspiron lineage, combines aluminum and polycarbonate for a sleek look that feels solid enough for its price, but reveals some flex in the keyboard deck and a hollow underside. In contrast, the Pro 14 Premium is crafted from magnesium, resulting in a lighter and more refined chassis that exudes business class sophistication, though the lid has slight flex when pressed. The Pro 14 is thinner and more compact overall, making it a better fit for professional environments. Port selection is strong on both. The 14 Plus offers a practical mix, including HDMI 2.1, USB-A, USB-C, and even Thunderbolt 4 on higher-end models. The Pro 14 adds dual Thunderbolt 4 ports, a dedicated lock slot, and more enterprise-focused connectivity, though both omit SD card readers. The Dell 14 Plus features a 14-inch IPS display with either a 1920x1200 or 2560x1600 resolution depending on configuration, offering decent sharpness and a 90Hz refresh rate on Intel variants. However, its brightness caps at 300 nits, which hampers usability in brightly lit environments. The Pro 14 Premium also sports a 14-inch 16x10 IPS screen, but with higher brightness levels around 400 plus nits and improved clarity, making it more comfortable for professional use. An OLED model is in development for the Pro, which could further enhance visual fidelity. The webcam setup is a clear win for the Pro 14, which offers a 4K sensor that outputs sharp 1440p video and includes advanced features like Windows Hello IR facial recognition, auto framing, and presence detection. In contrast, the 14 Plus has a competent 1080p camera with a privacy shutter, adequate for video calls but not nearly as refined. Typing on the 14 Plus is decent but uninspired, with slightly stiff and shallow keys. The Pro 14's keyboard looks better but feels worse, using a lattice-style layout with mushy key travel that may frustrate frequent typists. Trackpads on both are functional, though the Pro's larger surface and integrated Teams zoom controls give it a modern edge. Battery life is another area where the Pro 14 pulls ahead. While the 14 Plus offers around 13.5 hours of usage, the Pro 14 delivers a remarkable 25 plus hours, making it far more suitable for long work days without charging. When it comes to raw processing power, both take different paths but offer capable performance for their intended audiences. The 14 Plus is available with either AMD's Ryzen AI 300 series or Intel's Core Ultra 200 V chips, including options like the Core Ultra 7 256V and Ryzen AI 7 350. These chips deliver solid day-to-day -day performance with efficient AI acceleration and modern integrated GPUs Intel Arc Xe2 or Radeon 8 49M, making them well-suited for productivity, multitasking, and light creative workloads. The Pro 14, on the other hand, comes equipped with the V Pro enabled Intel Core Ultra 7 268V, which adds business focused security features and slightly better multi core stability, backed by 32GB of LPDDR5X RAM. While both laptops handle office applications and web heavy workflows with ease, the Pro 14 leans toward enterprise grade optimization, whereas the 14 Plus offers a more performance per dollar appeal. In terms of creative work, like photo or video editing, neither laptop is a replacement for a dedicated workstation, but the 14 Plus has a slight edge when configured with the higher-end Intel Arc XE2 graphics. It manages light editing tasks in Photoshop or Lightroom reasonably well and can handle basic 1080p video projects, though render times are lengthy. The Pro 14 performs similarly in apps like Photoshop, showing strong results in synthetic benchmarks like Puget Bench, but its integrated Arc 140V graphics still limit it for heavier editing. Gaming is clearly a secondary consideration on both models. 
The 14 Plus can handle indie titles or older games at low to medium settings, while the Pro 14 is more constrained, meant for light entertainment rather than any sustained gaming experience. So, which should you buy in 2025? If you're a business professional who values battery life, premium build, and a stellar webcam, the Dell Pro 14 is the clear winner. But if you're on a tighter budget and need solid all-around performance, the Dell 14 Plus is still a great deal.